Hello there and welcome to the third episode of Reading Nature. Um, I'm Elliot Newton, I'm the Biodiversity Officer for Kingston Council and these sessions are all about trying to tell you more about the green spaces, the special green spaces that we have in Kingston and the amazing wildlife that you can find there pretty much all time of year, and all different times of year. And this session is all about woodpeckers and I am standing in the incredible woodland that is in the Bay Odin's Nature Reserve. So please do come here. It's a lovely place. I've got a lovely friends group that I suggest you Google and maybe get involved with and do some lovely volunteering. But woodpeckers. A lot of people might heard of a woodpecker, but you might not know exactly what a woodpecker is. And interestingly, in the UK, we've technically got four species of woodpecker. We have two rare ones, which you might not regularly see. You might occasionally see them in Kingston. One is called a lesser spotted woodpecker, and one is called a wry neck. We used to have wry necks all over the UK, but unfortunately they don't breed here anymore. We only get them in when they're uh, flying, when they're migrating back and forth on passage. And at the moment, which is sort of awesome time, we're getting lots of rhinox potentially flying overhead as they go from sort of Scandinavia all the way. Why don't they breed here? Oh, well, unfortunately that's humans' fault, I'm afraid. Yeah, so we just destroyed their habitat and uh, they can't, they, 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 they just don't, <laughs> there's no place for them to live for anymore. Okay. We do get them passing over as they're going from Scandinavia to Africa to go and spend the warm winter months in Africa rather than staying up north. But the two species that I reckon you will definitely have a very good chance of seeing in Kingston are these two. So we've got the green woodpecker and the great spotted woodpecker. And the great spotted, they, have a slightly, they both have slightly different ecologies. So, the great spotted woodpecker is a woodland species, definitely something you would find in a wood like this. And the green spotted, but the green woodpecker, sorry, is a uh, grassland specialist. So you see these more on our grassy areas. And there's lots of interesting things about woodpeckers. And the most incredible thing is obviously that they are able to peck wood. And they do that for a number of reasons. One reason is how they try and access their food. So a lot of, uh, especially the great spotted woodpecker and lesser spotted woodpecker, they love eating beetle larvae. So they're behind the bark of trees. So what they'll do, they'll hear the beetles and they'll do this thing called percussive foraging. So they'll be pecking on the wood and they'll be able to hear where the beetles are behind them. And when they can find a beetle, they'll peck behind the wood and be able to get the grub. So that's, so that's the noise you hear when you hear them. Yeah, when you hear them drumming. Yeah. And also you hear them making a loud noise. And that might be them telling a strong male, saying, I'm a strong woodpecker, I'm marking my territory. So it's showing his health by banging as loud as he can to say, watch out, of male woodpeckers, I'm here. But the really important thing that woodpeckers do with their holes, is obviously, well, with their, 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 their beaks and their drumming, uh, is by making their, their holes in which where they nest. And this, this woodland is full of woodpecker holes and they're really great habitats, not just for woodpeckers, because a woodpecker will have their young there and then they'll fledge there, but then after their, their young have fledged, they won't come back. So other, other, bat, other, other species like bats can go and inhabit these holes, which is a really important part of our landscape and our ecology. They're a really important role to play. And uh, the, greenwood, the green woodpecker um, is, a, a, as I say, mainly, especially in the winter, will find fly and find ants on, um, on our grasslands, like yellow meadow ants and stuff like that. So in Africa, we have things like pangolins, which go around eating all our ants. And, and South, South America, we have things like anteaters. But in the UK, these are effectively our main anteater. So they're, again, a really important job to play. But the most incredible thing I want to tell you about a woodpecker is their skull. Because obviously, imagine if you were a woodpecker and your job was to peck wood all day, you'd get a pretty, pretty bad headache. So they have, they have a specially evolved skull to try and absorb the shocks that the incredible forces that they are having to absorb on a daily basis as they're pecking wood. So here, you can see they have this amazing tongue. So this is a, a replica of a woodpecker skull. And this red line represents their tongue. And their tongue actually connects to the back of their sort of skull at a place called the hyoid apparatus and that wraps around their skull also and comes out here and almost acts as like an internal shock absorber so really incre incredible sort of feature and their beaks are really strong um, so they they have pretty much an inbuilt helmet for to stop from getting a headache so a really incredible lesson about the woodpecker and a really good way of listening out for them especially the green woodpecker it sounds like they're laughing at you when you hear them call we just heard one heard call it well, not too long ago. So um, look out for them. They're amazing creatures. So when you're walking around our woodlands or our parklands, we want to look out for woodpeckers. Yeah.